for this is MXUX. So I'm just going to plow through. There's a lot of specs that have been forgotten about the Lordstown Endurance and the Lordstown Plant. And I just went through my last videos. And I am going to do this presentation quickly to go over everything that everybody forgot about how great of a truck this is. Let me get started on this. Also, I may add uh, some information about the last video on the hub motors as well. Okay, this is the uh, the video here, LMC Endurance. You can look for this on my channel. That is the cover page, and that's from March 25, 21. Specs from this vid. Systems, regen braking, electronic traction control, ABS, torque vectoring, stability control. No sway, no rollover. Drives like a sports car. Computer with a motor on it. Okay. Now we have here, uh, demand for EV trucks is forecast between 250 to 400,000 vehicles. And right now, which this is current, has chips to build plus or minus 20K vehicles. Um, the gross vehicle weight rating on the Endurance is 6,000 pounds. I think this has been updated. Uh, there's a towing receiver option. There's 15-inch ground clearance on the Endurance. There's a front with 110 outlet, uh, which isn't final. And the charging is on board. Uh, right now, Lundstein has capacity to build more EV trucks than Ford, Rivian, or Tesla. 100,000 units. Ford has no chips. Tesla's using other people's chips and hasn't started production of the Cybertruck yet. Rivian, unknown. It's an unknown, unknown. Uh, <clears throat> from the same video, the battery is replaceable, upgradable, and it has vehicle-to-grid capabilities. On the body, there's a bed-to-lead option, a towing pack package. Can mount a snowplow on it. And it can be lifted. Works in three feet of water. Uh, has a proprietary battery heating and cooling system. Has uh, over air updates. It can power a home for two and a half days. And it has an infotainment system. All right, let's just go over the hub motor. 20,000 miles of Lordstown testing, a million miles of manufacturer testing. Do not have to remove motor to change flat. Can remove motor with regular hand tools in five minutes. The motors are replaceable. Uh, inside information I have is 130 miles an hour on the uh, close track, the endurance speed test. Stats. Now this I got an asterisk on because, you know, this is a lightweight truck with efficient motors, and they haven't really come out with the finals on this, but as of this video, it was 250-mile range. So that implies 125-kilowatt battery, but I think their battery, they stated, was 110, and that may be due to the efficiency of the system. They're expecting a five-star crash rating, lightest full-size fleet pickup, fewest music, moving parts. And with the 80 mile an hour limiting, it's 5.5 seconds, 0 to 60. It's got the fewest uh, moving parts of any pickup truck. Okay. This is another one of my videos. I don't know what the date is on this. This is around the Baja race. You can look this up. Uh, from this video, okay, during this video, 20K units of reasonable demand from Homer Enterprises. They have need for many more trucks than this, but this is like a toe in the water order. This is not an order order. It's a, you know, it's, it's, that's what they, you know. Anyway, this is before all the order stuff. In 21, there will, one, there will be uh, one truck produced every six minutes. In 22, one truck produced every four PPV is supposed to be out right now. It should be the first five-star truck after it gets the National Highway Safety ratings. Full production is supposed to start in late September. Second half of 2022, that was in this video's time, van production starts. Don't, don't forget, they have all the, all the necessary things in place for the van stamping, and they got the skateboard, so... 
right now they're not saying anything about it much. Now this is uh, this is a great one of my favorite videos. However, not that many views. Uh, let's see what's contained. This is Peter Sellers from Doctor Strange Love for all you kids out there. <laughs> There's a very funny clip in this video. You should watch this video just for this joke. All right. I thought it was funny. Nobody else did. 214 views. Okay. <clears throat> From this video, 21K, total cost of ownership savings over a nice fleet truck. Okay. Uh, as of this video, 250 mile range, 75% lower maintenance over a nice truck. The Endurance has the tightest turning radius of any full size pickup truck. And it's the first, the uh, world's first all all electric commercial pickup truck. This is one of my first videos. Uh, this is a famous quarterback here, who is a spokesman for uh, Ride. Ten things about. I'll let you guys guess who that is in the comments. Ten things about Ride stock you don't know. All right. Sandy Monroe to use Hub Motors in three of his products. The Alafe 15 L1500 is in the Aptera, which is the same one in the Endurance. A vote of confidence from Sandy Monroe. And this is back in the day. This is one of my first video. Hub Motor eliminates all the parts in Tesla Motors but two. The rotor and the stator. So how many parts it eliminate? 300, whatever. The Lordstown plant has a German paint shop, which is considered to be the best auto paint shop. And the plant is sited on a rail spur, which means it could go right onto a rail car and on anywhere by rail. And it's also at the nexus of uh, Interstate 80 and uh, another road, which might be the Ohio Turnpike. Anyway, that, that, that roadway, 80 goes everywhere. You could ship, in other words, from this location, you could ship anywhere, and you could put them on a rail car, take them up to the Great Lakes, ship them to Europe. All right, this is interesting. Got Steve Burrs, so supposed to be Steve Burns. Before Lordstown Motors and Workhorse, Steve Burns created Surrey, which was sold to Apple. And I know all you haters are going to say no. Look it up. Now, as far as this, oops, sorry. As far as this uh, particular video, LMC had 40K in pre orders. Okay. The other one said 20, pretty solid. This is 40. An SUV plant, which turned into a van. Uh, but anyway, these are the interesting things from. Uh, Lordstown Motors from my previous videos. I thought we might have forgotten about them. You might want to pause, go through this and pause it and read these. But these are all factoids uh, I've gathered. Okay, this is just going back to the last PDF I had on the manufacturing techniques of the uh, uh, Lordstown Endurance Hub Motors. This is the result of Horizon 2020, which is a $30 billion investment uh, right now in 2020. I believe in 2018, it was like $80 billion. And um, the thing is, this is a, a fund that was put together by uh, the European Union. Uh, it's kind of like our advanced manufacturing technique uh, uh, thing, okay? It's government uh, funding of uh, research projects, uh, and, and it's in a bunch of different fields. Um, and um, you have to apply to get this uh, funding, and uh, it's, it's like our advanced innovative uh, manufacturing loan that uh, Lordstown's up to. But I just wanted to show you that this is uh, not an easy program to get into, and it's uh, there are experts in each field uh, that uh, are. Um, in charge of uh, evaluating and uh, seeing if um, uh, these uh, projects uh, uh, 
should receive funding and how they were going and uh, so on and so forth. And they're uh, validating the um, the uh, sustainable, you know, the the ability of this uh, product or this service or whatever it is to make it. Uh, so they're not funding a lot of crap here, they're, and they're fall and they're judiciously uh, monitoring the development of these projects. And uh, now this is interesting. The success rate of all well, pro, uh, programs in 2020 was 14 percent. Okay, 14 percent of 86 percent were not chosen. 14. So you see. 14 out of 100 get picked. So Elafe was one of this small number that was picked. So not only is this, uh, uh, it's, it's the evaluations go into choosing the projects and then they are monitored, okay? And only in, in 2020, 14%, I'm sure that this was 2018 was in the first round of this, which was actually bigger, but uh, anyway, so, only 14 out of 186 percent of those who try to get in don't. Uh, this is the Horizon 2020 um, project for Alafe, and um, there's the uh, location is in um, Slovenia, and uh, it's. Uh, where the where the company is and and then green transport uh enabling a t technologies uh dedicated well anyway these are the different programs that it was part of and this is um the objective of the program and this is the 1500 dilophys patented motor so we all know about this but i just wanted to go over this with you to show you that this is not some half-baked uh, program that funded this thing. And it's gone through a lot of rigorous uh, evaluation and so forth. And then there are reports. Now, I'm going to leave this up here. You can, uh, these are the results, uh, patents, uh, pilots, prototypes, okay. so. In other words, they were chosen from a few, uh, you know, 14%, one of the 14% chosen uh, by experts. They were monitored by experts. The result of this was patent filings and pilots and prototypes and, uh, you know, the um, uh, production uh, outline I gave in the last meet video. And uh, here is another report. Uh, related to this project, which is the uh, design of the website. Okay, so um, just goes to show you every every aspect of this was monitored. Now, this is the funding they received in euros, and that is in current dollars. They got uh, one one million two hundred fifty six thousand three hundred eighteen dollars in uh, US dollars uh, back in 2018 to fund this. And anyway, um, this is again uh, what the project is. So I just wanted to give this to you and, and uh, you guys can um, look at this and uh, you, can, you can copy this web page or or whatever and you can investigate this yourself but this is a pretty big deal the way this was done and it's quite a big deal for the european union and to be chosen as a project and you know to be in it is a big deal 95 billion funding for research and innovation 95 billion dollar budget okay tackles climate change sustainable blah 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 
okay creates jobs uh, okay so this is this is what the program was and this is the one that um, that uh, Alafe went through so a big deal chosen by experts evaluated ongoing by experts so anybody that says this this uh, product uh, hasn't been tested or that it's some science project is wrong and i want to thank one of my commenters and it's pinned uh, the comment is pinned to that video thanks okay just wrapping this up i'm not a financial advisor um pay attention to this down here will you will you here i'll play it there doesn't do anything uh, listen, here's the thing, uh, you know, our stock price, uh, this stock price, I shouldn't say our stock price is down. I am not a financial advisor. Uh, you got to look at the macroeconomic uh, theater uh, as well as this particular stock. And uh, we have some things weighing on the macro economy right now. Flattening the interest rate curve. Uh, there's some talks of a reclosure of the uh, uh, economy. But anyway, I just want to reiterate, you know, we're all very excited for Lordstown and interested in the truck and the company. I want to remind everyone, this is a risk on investment. It is or can produce catastrophic loss. Uh, we don't know what could happen. Anything could happen. And the macro economy could be another factor. Factor. I, uh, in my opinion... I think uh, they're going to make the make, make the start of um, production. Anyway, I'm going to close out this video. Thanks, everybody. I just watched a great video from um, Q's Views uh, this afternoon, talking about an upcoming event. Uh, it would be tomorrow, August 4th, where Darren Post, the uh, VP of Engineering at Lordstown, is going to give a speech that should release some factoids. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.